This is a very interesting little side note application that has been added to the syllabus about declining male fertility. So you've probably heard about things like if you are a jockey or if you are a cyclist or if you do a lot of things where the area around the male groin area tends to stay very warm, that that could actually decrease the sperm count and make you more likely to be infertile and unable to have kids so some new evidence has come about and i guess they decided to throw it into the syllabus so you should know about it declining male fertility seems to be following a pattern so the average number of sperm per unit volume of semen very fancy phrase continues to decrease each year and one of the reasons well actually a few of the reasons one is we think that there is more estrogen and progesterone which are typically female hormones in the environment and exposure to these types of female hormones can actually decrease uh, sperm count that's one thing most likely some of this stuff comes from female contraceptive pills so if women are taking these kinds of pills to help regulate their menstrual cycle or as a contraceptive method um, these kinds of things can kind of be around in the environment so not just you don't just get it if you take the pill it can be present all around in the environment as some of these proteins, these hormones that have been added in are not necessarily broken down naturally in the environment. There could be the presence of chemicals that have a very similar structure to female hormones like steroids used in plastics and in furniture. So this stuff doesn't just have to be something that you uh, eat or drink, but you can come into contact with this stuff if you're just you know, touching or sitting on furniture. One of the things, relatively new research coming out about this, but good enough to be in the syllabus. If things change, then they'll probably remove this from the syllabus. There have been things from, I remember the 2000 and, uh, what was the one before 2009? Previous to the 2009 syllabus, there was information in there about a structure that was found inside prokaryotic cells. And they removed it when new evidence basically surfaced that said, that thing doesn't actually exist. It was just what somebody saw when it showed up in a poorly prepared uh, electron micrograph. So who knows, but some of this stuff out there, nothing really you, that you can do about it. I guess just don't become a jockey, but jockeys are pretty cool. One kind of nature of science application is to try to understand the idea of, actually this was also removed from the syllabus, but it's a pretty important concept known as the precautionary principle, which means that before you do something really big, if you're an organization or a company that's producing a product or you're trying to make some grand scale kind of changes that can have an effect on communities or the ecosystem, that you should try to prove that it's not going to cause massive harm around. So here it's a little note that says important to test for side effects before introducing products into the environment and hopefully you can come up with you can think about many different examples of how humans have made mistakes in the past by introducing certain types of things that have had a lasting impact on the environment and then we have to go back and then try to remove some of those things so lots of little nature of science theory of knowledge links um, try to use all this information together to help you prepare for the ultimate battle of exams <laughs>